Purpose of Six Sigma Six Sigma projects should always focus on things that are of high importance to the organization. That is what makes it strategic. Internally, it requires support from the highest levels of management. Six Sigma also emphasizes planning the project and quantifying the results. Metrics are essential in tracking the impact of the project and health of the process you are measuring. Another key concept is the existence of highly skilled process improvement experts. Six Sigma and Lean serve as a mechanism to drive change in the business. Typically these changes are top down, but the power of the methodology allows for the initiation of projects at any level in the organization as long as the aims of Lean and Six Sigma are realized. In order for Six Sigma and Lean to coexist and serve the interests of the organization, several critical success factors must be realized. First, the value of using the methodology must be embraced at all levels of the organization. The organization must have a strong customer focus and welcome change. Teamwork and training are also essential to project success. The organization must have strong systems, procedures, and infrastructure to facilitate effective communication and collaboration. Finally, subject matter experts in the use and implementation of quality and lean tools are needed to analyze results and devise effective means toward measuring and quantifying improvement. When comparing short-term and long-term performance and variation, one should expect to see a 1.5 sigma shift. Although adopters of the Six Sigma philosophy may struggle to reach a level of variance reduction equivalent to 3.4 defects for every 1 million opportunities, intermediate gains can be realized to reduce variation significantly. In terms of sigma level, huge leaps in reduction of defects can be realized as we move from one sigma level to the next. As defect reduction improves, we see a corresponding improvement in percent yield.